Hi, Starseeds. This is Araya with Quantum Mysteries and my co-host, Dennis Strahl, who we bring to you every Thursday. We record an hour to two hours worth of information on Quantum Mysteries from across the galaxy. Anything we get our hands on, we dissect and we thoroughly investigate and bring to you so that you can hear what is going on at the, at the deepest levels, breaking apart conspiracies, breaking apart mysteries, understanding things, how it relates to us in our daily lives, how to heal our bodies, how to, how to work with our minds, how to heal ourselves at the quantum level. Dennis and I are like cosmic travelers <laughs> and we love doing this. Dennis himself is a mastermind quantum expert in the field of just observation, studying for 30 years from his own personal experiences, going to so many conferences, listening to so many panelists, talking and listening to so many experts. And he has brought back so much knowledge plus his own investigations. And so, of course, everything that we show you and teach you and share with you, please do your own research. Always know that we're not an authority on the topic. We're just bringing this information to you and we're excited about it. So today's episode is so big and Dennis was the one that brought it to my attention and I've been learning about it. So it's basically the tachyon healing chambers and you get in this bed and it definitely heals you by reversing your cellular damage or any kind of cellular malformations and it takes you back to homeostasis so it's it's kind of like a take on the life vessel is that correct dennis correct yeah very similar to the life vessel and the uh, <clears throat> uh blue room uh, they all work with light and frequencies and you know uh, it, most of the frequency stuff is inaudible because it's at higher frequencies than we can hear with our ears. And, um, and of course, there's quantum technology in all of these things, because it's, it's technology that, figuratively speaking, is uh, healing and raising the frequency of the human body invisibly. Now, they you say know? tachyon healing is straight from the Palladian uh, their, their Palladian type of technology. And that has been found out from people who have channeled this information, who have actually had some deep space experience uh, working on a spacecraft and have actually experienced what tachyon phenomenon is. And exactly. in a little research myself, I discovered tachyons are a micro type of matter. Yes. That is like the black hole it is you cannot see it it exists in math it exists in the quantum level but you can utilize it you can work with it and that is where this is more like et technology so you can't use western medicine to describe this you can't use traditional science to really even bridge this gap so we're kind of going off planet to explain how this works so yes, you're open to the possibilities. <laughs> you know, uh, I only found one reference in, in all the information that we've shared over the last few days on the med beds and the tachyon chambers. And I only found one reference in the med bed information um, that referred to tachyons being involved in the med beds. But as oh, I look at as I look at both of them. I think to myself, well, how could the med beds not have tachyons? It's kind of like, <clears throat> you know, where are there not any quantum particles? Right. Well, there's no empty spaces where quantum particles don't exist. Right. And I think that I'm correct on this, but the stuff that we've been looking at specifically to the tachyons, apparently the tachyons, um, which is spelled, by the way, folks, if you want to look it up, it's T-A-C-H, like a tachometer in a car. T-A-C-H-Y-O-N, as in Nancy S, tachyons. Yes. So that's what we're talking about here. And the tachyons, uh, I believe, are size-wise, apparently, either at the same size of quantum particles, which is far smaller than atomic particles. You know, an atom has electrons, protons, and neutrons in it, right? Well, you remember that from high school science. And we know that the electrons, the protons, and the neutrons that are spinning around the nucleus in an atom 
are just little balls of energy. There's no mass there, per se. And so when you get the quantum and tachyon, that's even smaller than atomic. So they have, actually, neg they have actually negative mass. Yes, uh, correct. Not, it's not antimatter. It's, that's totally different. But they have, um, you know, was, I was talking to my son, Rob, and I'm reading his notes that he sent me. And he was explaining that it is, um, it's not antimatter because that's totally different. It, Anti-mass, it is actually reversing itself. So that's where the anti-aging, anti, you know, uh, it's like an, it's like a time machine going backwards. These, these yes. quantum yes. particles. <clears throat> so that's why that's the whole idea. And these these med beds are around the world. I mean, I was looking at the list of countries that you sent me with the different changes. Oh, the, that, was the, that was the tachyon changes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's what, uh, let's see here. In the United States, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the tachyon chambers in North America. And in Europe, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 in Europe. Uh, these are physical locations. Most of the time, apparently, these are like in health spas, people that are interested in alternative ways to help their right. uh, in clients. Japan, in Japan alone, there's quite a few, right? Yeah, Japan has more than any other country. I think they have, what, in just in the city of Tokyo, they have like 10? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. a whole bunch. A whole bunch. So, so basically what happens is this is an anti-aging chamber where it scans your body at down to the micro nanoparticles it gets a blueprint down to just all the cells in your body and it lets you know where there is damage so yes. and then what it does is you start doing your sessions and what it does is it starts repairing by reversing the clock back on i think it's the program to the, health, to the healthy happening. condition to the healthy condition prior to the problem yeah there you go because the, the blueprint is still in your dna for the healthy, healthy version, the perfectly healthy version of your liver or your kidney or whatever it is that supposedly is gone sideways. Now, I do have a little bit of the printed information here that I think sure. can answer about Yeah, the, go ahead and read it. Yeah, about the tachyon healing chamber. Pleiadians and other cosmic civilizations of life use tachyons as a basic source of energy, as a hyperdrive energy source for their spaceships by creating hyperspace wormholes for healing, uh, information transmission, and several other purposes. A tachyon belt that represents the border between the entropic and syntropic universe is now surrounding our planet. High energy cosmic rays enter this solar system from interstellar space and carry tachyons with them. Some of these tachyons reach the surface of our planet through a hyperdimensional wormhole that apparently was created with a quartz oscillator crystal aboard the Genesis 2 spacecraft. And these same tachyons can be utilized in a tachyon healing chamber that has been developed in cooperation with the Pleiadians. And this is off of that tachyon uh, website that right. I sent you a link. What's the name yeah. of that website? I really uh, love the name of that it's, website. It's tachyonus. Dot org. So, what about that Palladian website we were looking at that we really liked? I uh, you know what? I don't have that in front of me, but but what we'll do is we'll uh, I'll gather all of these links together and we'll put them below the video. So all of you that are listening, uh, you can have fun uh, after you listen or pause it and go click on some of the links, and we'll have links to a lot of the stuff that we're talking about. Here. Okay. <clears throat> so it goes on to say. Um, Tachyons have an extraordinary healing and harmonizing effect. They can harmonize completely all types of energy fields that are a result of gravity, electromagnetism, and weak nuclear force. Now, when we talk about electromagnetism, we all know that every cell in your body it has polarity, just like a battery, positive and negative. So this you know, begins to make sense when you draw conclusions like that or, or comparisons like that. Tachyon energy harmonizes and enlivens the energy matrix, which shapes all matter and thus also our mental, 
the emotional, etheric, and physical bonds. Now, on one of the websites that we're going to post for you all, there are some very interesting testimonials of people that have gone into the tachyon chambers. As far as I know, there aren't any actually med beds built anywhere yet. They're working on that and funding it. <clears throat> uh, well, I thought they had the med beds were out already. So what are those clinics? The, then? The, the list is of the tachyon chambers. Those are all tachyon chambers. Oh, so tachyon chambers are different from the med beds. Correct. I thought they were the same. No. It's two see. separate technologies. That's what's so interesting here. We have four but, technologies now. We really? Have, okay, so yes. explain the med bed technology then. Okay. Well, the first time I heard about the types of things, but he wasn't calling it a med bed. Three years ago at the uh, annual four-day UFO conference called Contact in the Desert, a fellow by the name of Emory Smith was speaking. And he was a, a military surgeon that worked in the deep underground facilities. And he told the whole audience about healing technologies. He says that, you know, we can't bring up to the surface yet. Many of them work with frequencies. And some of them, he says, for example, the one that we have that works on cancer. He says down in these deep underground facilities where they're 40, 50 stories underground. And he worked underground at Los Alamos, Area 51. Um, uh, what's that the famous Air Force Base up in Ohio or somewhere? Uh, Wright Patterson Air Force Base, which apparently a lot of the UFO wreckage over the years that they collect and then want to reverse engineer has gone to Wright Patterson as well as Area 51. And so he's worked deep underground underneath all these facilities. And he says, uh, you know, with the, and I feel comfortable saying this because he said it to live audiences that contact in the desert, that they were curing all the way up to third stage cancer in three to four days, every time, 100% of the time. And he says, when it comes to fourth stage, stage cancer, it's about 50% of the time. It's gone in three to four days. And so he says, we're working on 100% for 50% of the time. And he says, some of the other scientists that I work with there, you know, he says, I'm single, so I don't have a family or anything, but you know, they've got wives and children and brothers and sisters up on the surface that have cancer. And they're not allowed to bring that family member down to underground to fix them or to heal them. And we're not allowed to bring the, uh, that technology up to the top. But he says, that particular technology that we're using to do that in these deep underground facilities he says, I know for a fact that that particular technology could be weaponized if it got into the wrong hands. So he says, you know, before a lot of these technologies can be brought forward, we have to be very, very careful that one of two things has happened. Either it's been modified to where it cannot be weaponized, it can only be used for healing and such, or that mankind, mass consciousness has such a positive escalation to a much higher level of consciousness for everybody on the planet that we don't have to worry about there being a bad guy getting his hands on it, using it for sinister purposes. So there's a few variables here involved in what's going on. But uh, yeah, the tachyon uh, technology and the med beds are a little different from my understanding because the med beds, uh, which is the video that you were listening to today, uh, Orion, which I imagine we could, could include the link to that video. Sure. Uh, I noticed, by the way, and I'll mention, sometimes when people search for these terms, it's not necessarily going to be a lot of stuff to come up because the link that I sent you today, or that you were watching today, does not have the word med bed, and that's two words is how they spell it, folks, uh, in the title of that video. The title of that video does not contain the words med bed. So that video is not going to come up in the YouTube search if you put in the word med bed. So, Maybe we can include that and people can draw their own conclusions. There's some pretty, I'll tell you right now, and I, and I know that the, uh, Ariah would agree with me, there's some pretty way out stuff Yeah. that's spoken about in that video mm -hmm. that'll be probably difficult for some of you to believe. But it's all really, really good stuff that you say to yourself, gosh, if that technology really, really came to the surface and everybody had access to it, uh, one of the interesting things about the med bed uh, that I read just today is that apparently they 
are not big energy eaters. Very, very little energy is required to run one of those things. So I don't know, maybe a little, you know, gasoline Honda generator would run a med bed uh, out in the middle of the African jungles so that people in small villages could have a transformative healing uh, take place. Mm. So those are exciting things to look forward to, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, well, we're understanding in general as a human species right now, we're understanding that our human body has not been fully and completely uh, discovered and we, we haven't learned about every single technology available to us that exists within us. So yes. what, what, we're, what we're starting to understand is that our cells are programmable, our brains are programmable, we can reverse damage, we can reverse pain, we can reverse inflammation, we can create healing, we can practice anti-aging thoughts, anti-aging discoveries within our body so we can heal our bodies and slow down the process of destruction. Like they say, as you age, I guess for every year you degrade 1% is what the video said. So, so for me, oh, and, 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 <laughs> Yes. Yes, and, a, and an interesting biological mem uh, measurement of that, right? which we spoke about in a previous episode, Dr. Joseph Dispenza yeah. is teaching people how to reverse aging with their minds and their hearts by yeah. changing their beliefs and, and teaching them to raise their frequency through special meditative techniques. So the, that, I the idea is that there is ET technology, there's Palladian, there's Syrian, Arcturian, and Andromedan, I can never say that, galaxy, um, uh, technology that has arrived to the planet that is here, that the best and the brightest of us know about it, are working with it, it's hidden, the government doesn't want it out, they don't want it in the hands of the military, the FDA will not approve of these things for public mass use, but it exists. And these things are uh, healing chambers that can heal cancer, that can uh, anti-age you and, and even clean out trauma, memories, things like that. But what we're focusing on is the idea that since we can't get to these chambers, we can get to some, like yes. the ones Dennis are mentioning, but the ones that we can't get to, it's not that we should just give up and realize that like, oh great, you know, the government is holding this back from us, you know, our citizens are dying, you know, they should release this to us, to the public. Instead, what we're doing is we're all raising our consciousness and our awareness of what we're capable of doing and so that we could elicit these types of same techniques and these technologies within our being. So it's not like exactly. we're missing out, we're not missing out on these things, we're exactly. just doing a different way. It's like we're modifying evolution. We're just modifying. You know, that's exactly. what, that's what, how animals modify in nature, right? So if yes. you're, you're gonna be around water, you're gonna be an amphibian and you're gonna de develop webs on your toes. So we are not able to access these uh, <coughs> these technologies, but we can develop in it in ourselves and i just want to just make sure that is understood as we continue on and talking about these i think that's a very a very good point to bring forward because what i was going to say about how dr um joe dispenza is doing this and we've discussed this previously in our previous episode but it fits in with what we're talking about right now right. Uh, attached to your dna are these little um kind of tic-tac shaped things called telomeres Right. And They're as you age, back. your telomeres, right. And as you age, your telomeres get shorter. Right. So if you could make your telomeres get longer, yeah. and in these meditative techniques that uh, Joe, Dr. Joe Dispenza, they're actually able to observe people's telomeres get longer, which means that they are reversing aging and they're doing it without any technology at all. Right. And I think the thing that breaks <laughs> down telomeres are anti or antioxidants, right? Are free radicals, sorry. Free radicals are what attacks Correct. these, these telomeres. Yes. And that is part of the reason why our cells are not duplicating properly because they're being damaged. Exactly. And so when they replicate, they're not replicating properly. Yes. So our telomeres are not uh, staying long. They're like little caps that are at the end of 
think it's a, is it a nerve, not a nerve, but it's something I have to research and find out, but it, I saw a picture of it. Um, yes. And, and when they're, when you're young, they're long and yep. they get shorter and shorter and shorter. And so the goal is to grow them back again. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, and I think that a lot of these, uh, alternative technologies, uh, in particular, the tachyon chambers and the med beds, which apparently um, are ET friends, uh, in particular the Pleiadians for the tachyon beds, are behind, is that they realize that not everybody is going to be able to achieve what Dr. Joseph Dispenza's uh, students will say have been able to achieve. It's pretty tough to train a whole planet to do that. Right. So in the meanwhile, because there are frequency technology uh, devices like the med bed and the tachyon chambers and the life vessel and the blue room, all of which raise your frequency, have these same potentials. And I think that they introduce these technologies to us so that we begin to think, well, okay, I understand that it was a machine that helped me to achieve the vibration that I wanted, but what if I could do that with my own mind and heart? Ooh. I, you know? I mean, personally, that doesn't that seem like the most advanced technology there is? When Absolutely. You know, it's what's it's, inside of us. It's instant. Yes. It's instant. You don't have yes. to go anywhere. You don't have to do anything. But it's good to know about these things, and it's good to know that it exists. And also, yes. it's good to, if you can get to it, like I know some people that are going to, see, to the life vessel right now from our last show. Yes. And seeing results. So if you can get to one of these chambers or a bed, you know, it wouldn't hurt you to do that. So. Yeah. In fact, as far as the tachyon chambers go, if you count all the locations worldwide, I think there are more tachyon chambers now than there are life vessels and blue rooms combined. Wow. Do you now, know, how, do you have any idea how many are in California? Okay. So um, it looks like there are two locations here in California. Uh, one is in Los Angeles, and one is in Petaluma, which okay. I think is up around Fresno. So. Wow, so there's one in Los Angeles. So there are, yeah, so there are two in California. And then as far as the balance of the United States, there's one in Virginia, one in South Dakota, one in Oregon. Um, actually, wait a minute, there's three in California. There's another one in Mount Shasta. Ah, you know, the word Mount Shasta has come up so many times for me this week from other people. And uh, I just did an interview with Tom uh, from our United Starseeds Connections group. And he was right. talking about his crystals from Mount Shasta. And my daughter is in Mount Shasta as we speak right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mount Shasta is definitely in my realm. Um, you know, well, I, I remember reading from several different sources, since just talking about Mount Shasta, that when Atlantis sunk, and of course, the Atlanteans were battling with the Lemurians, because they occupied separate continents here on our planet, that when the Lemurians transformed themselves up into even higher frequencies, that they literally live inside of Mount Shasta. Right. The Lemurians. Well, my daughter, I haven't, I've never personally been, I've driven by it so many times going to Oregon, <laughs> but my daughter was sending me pictures and texting me, and she's young, you know, she's like 14, and sure. she said, she said, oh my gosh, this is the most amazing place. The water is so perfect that everything about this place is unusual. She, and she doesn't know anything about what we're talking about. Yeah, she exactly. The energy. And I she kind of told her it. what's going on and she's like, okay. <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> but she felt it. And the waters looked so beautiful, like aquamarine green crystal. Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful. place. Well, not green, but aquamarine blue, I guess. I know there are a lot of um, metaphysical groups yes. that will schedule their annual retreats uh, at the, some of the various uh, resorts, you know, destination uh, vacation resorts in the Mount Shasta area, right. specifically because of the energy here. So Tom was saying that it's a, a volcano. Yes. I, yeah, I didn't know that. So imagine the crystals and the different types of, you know, pressurized rock that must be there. Oh, yes. Find. Like the Absolutely. different minerals would be amazing. A lot so, of mystical energies there and a lot of UFO sightings so in the Mount Shasta area. I want to go back to the tachyon chambers for a second. Now, do you remember when we were talking earlier before the show 
you read to me some testimonials from some people that have actually experienced it. So um, let's see here. The re-atomizer, which is one, there are three different types of med beds uh, that Araya and I discovered that they talk about. Right. Designed for different purposes. But the re-atomizer runs over the entire body. And this involves tachyon particles, tachyon energy, and also plasma energy. With a computerized database and basically adding the computer to whip up a banana, banana or water that tastes like bananas, this technology is capable of doing that. The soil, the atmosphere, the water, everything is plasma energy. Everything in the universe is plasma energy. It's just a different form through vibrational frequency variations. It reconfigures things molecularly, restructuring the tachyon plasma, then identifying it through the computer's database and matching it up with what you want. You're in this med bed. You don't experience any pain or radiation of any kind. It is not a painful event. You basically wake up, look in the mirror, and possibly feel and look substantially different. For the better, always. What it actually does, this is interesting, is it shows the internal operation or your internal organs very clearly in a 3D format. Uh, all of your organs, where they are, and how they are functioning. It analyzes your blood and also depicts any damage or illness or disease within the body that is not normal. Then it will come back through voice communication and tell you what's going on. And it will even ask you, apparently, do you want a full re-atomization of your body or do you just want this one area of, of problems taken care of? And it'll give you that option, the med bed technology. So... Um, I definitely want to go do this. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Me Since too. there's one in Los Angeles, I wonder if it's open during Well, the, the tachyon, yeah, I'm going to contact that guy for you, as we had discussed, because that's the tachyon chamber. And what I started to mention earlier about the tachyon technology that I think will be appealing to many is that several of those, and I can't seem to find the, uh, the uh, testimonials at the moment, but several of them mention emotional shifts of great magnitude for the better. So for example, if somebody goes into a tachyon chamber and they're extremely depressed for whatever reason, or mourning and grief because they lost a loved one, or whatever might cause what we would call disturbed emotions, are very rapidly uh, resolved in a tachyon chamber. And also, I noted that apparently the average uh, stay time inside the tachyon chamber is only about 20 minutes. Do you have the uh, testimonial? There was a couple really good ones. Do you remember? Um, one of them was from a woman who said that she was having like, I don't know if she had some out-of-body experiences or something that she was, oh, she was able to reach a state of enlightenment or some sort of like euphoria. Um, but I don't know if you can find that or not. Just at the very, the intro here might be of interest. And this website, once again, folks, is Tachyonis. It's T-A, T as in Tom, A-C-H-Y-O-N-I-S dot org. And this is the website, by the way, where I found the list of locations worldwide. Here's some of what I found <clears throat> regarding the med beds. Access of the technology. Regenerative technology has actually been around for 80 years in the secret space program. Right. So for those of you that have never heard of the secret space program, it's been spoken of extensively for seven years in a row right. at Contact in the Desert by many of the different um, world-class researcher speakers speak of the um, secret space program. If released, it would reduce healthcare costs from what it is currently, which is about 20% um, of the gross national product, as they call it, or the entire income of the whole country combined, to almost nothing, which means, of course, more money in your pocket and a boom to the world economy. According to Randy Kramer, the military 
is agreeing to release this technology, but not willing to fund it because it's considered classified military technology. Now, this is the med beds and would require paperwork, which may end up burying the technology or severely delaying its implementation of military if, if the military attempted to release it. So what's happening is, is there are private sector individuals that have been made aware of this technology through friends in the military that apparently have been given some sort of latitude to um, release some of this information without ending up in prison themselves. Uh, and, you know, these military people, of course, I'm sure in many cases, they have families. They'd like their family, maybe some sick family member, to have access to this type of technology so that they could not only live longer, but live perfectly healthy longer. I mean, it's so much more fun living when you're healthy, right? right. You can do whatever you want. Right. So <clears throat> it says, so this will require public sector investment. Uh, the, the problem is potential civilian funders want too much control and ownership over the technology, which can limit then its distribution, or want to charge higher prices. Um, so there is concern that they would limit the success due to greed and selfishness, which there's still a few of those people on this planet. Right. So these types of reasoning, this type of reasoning, and, and, and again, where uh, Emory Smith had mentioned that some of this technology can be weaponized, it has to be released very, very carefully. We'd all love to see this kind of technology come out in mass. It'll be fabulous when it does, and I believe that that day will come, uh, but we can't push it too hard. But meanwhile, the three technologies that do have locations that you can visit, if you add together all of the locations of tachyon chambers, which are up and operational, and again, can, can besides the physical transformation, uh, many of the testimonials that I read, people had profound, uh, uplifting spiritual and emotional shifts to their benefit. But if you add together all of the life vessel locations and all of the, I saw that, all of the- um, oh, Wait a minute, hold on again with the power, hold on. Wait, Dennis. I saw you get brighter. Oh, wait. Sorry. But no, the light went out. But that's oh. once again we get our little Did warning. You... Once again we get our little warning. Yes. Well, we're trying to step as carefully as we can, I think. <laughs> Dennis, this is so bizarre. This is the second time this has happened. It is. And it's not happening on your other interviews, is it? No. It's only when we talk about these topics. Yep. So Oh my, it's either ET or it's government. I don't know, but keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. So, um, the process will probably involve the creation of private clinics, uh, as there is much uh, resistance by the entrenched medical establishment and hospitals due to the risk of damaging their current cash flow. Hmm. Because yeah, if all of a sudden you if all of a sudden you don't need surgery, right, and you no longer need the uh, eight or ten or twelve prescription drugs that you're taking that's costing you thousands of dollars a month, perhaps. I mean, one well, of the uh, let's just talk about cancer alone. If you get diagnosed with cancer, just think about the level of pharmaceutical, you know, uh, expenses that you have, and then you have radi radiation, and you have chemotherapy, and you have, you know there's so many people involved in curing somebody from cancer and there's so many bills are being paid at the hospital. <laughs> you know, the hospital's bills are getting paid by your paying oh, their yeah. bills. And sure. so, so what's happening is the second you have a chamber that can reverse cancer in 20 minutes or in two weeks, you're putting the hospital out of business. So yes. the hospital does not want this. And the hospitals work together with the FDA. So the FDA will shut you down. So that's what this video that we watched was talking about was the author of uh, Men Are From Mars and uh, Women Are From Venus. Uh, he, he created one of these really amazing quantum chambers and right. he had autistic kids go and stay there for two weeks and, and reverse their autism. FDA came and shut it down 
but he then continued on with wanting to make sure that he can at least produce something to the public. So he created a water that has white powder gold. It has a superconducting energy, no resistance uh, with te tetra, they're shaped like tetrahedrons, yes. and, which are superconductors and are assimilated into the body you know, faster instantly. So um, I don't know the name of that water, uh, but we can look it up. So it's energy infused water. Energy infused water. And uh, they call it white powder gold. And his name was, I have his name right here, Max Langenberg. Okay. Max Langenberg. And he had 30 autistic kids. And um, after two weeks, they were autism free. And the FDA came and closed him down. So the, his water is considered monophonic, monophonic, oxygenated, wow. nonpolar water. <laughs> and wow. it does physical age, age regression when you drink it. So we should look that up and get more yes. information on that. Yes, yeah, we'll share we'll share uh, more about that in well, another this, episode. This uh, actual this what I'm talking about is in the link that Dennis has been mentioning earlier. It's all in this one video. It's a little bit of a hodgepodge kind of video when you watch it. For those of you that are new to this type of information, uh, the way you're going to listen to it, it sounds really like Dennis said it's really out there. But stick it out. Um, it's a two-hour video. And I was just going to say, we, we exchange so much information. We do. And, and it's such a high volume that yeah. neither one of us is able to get through all of it. So, it's so much well, information. Yeah. Araya picks things up that she shares with you, and then I pick things up. And so we <laughs> fill, try to fill in the blanks for each other. But it's, Absolutely. you know, once you start digging into this stuff, there's a monumental amount of information. It's, there's videos to watch. There's reading to do. And yeah. uh, it's, I'm not complaining. It's a blast. I have a blast doing it. And I know that Araya does It's a does lot, too. but it's it a is. lot, definitely. Um, okay, so the name of the video is Healing Technology of the SSP and Science of Manifestation, uh, which they talk about the, the quantum level. They talk about uh, the gap, which is where we all come from, darkness. Yes. And in between the gap of all things, that's where the infinite, no time, no space, that is where all creation, that's what do they call it? That's the eye of God. Like that is yes. where it all is. Um, so they posted this video three weeks ago. They have 36,000 views. And the name of the company is Neologic Tech, Neological Tech. They have uh, 4,000 subscribers. So this is a uh, first time for me. I haven't actually seen this before, these vid this video. It was so interesting. I had to break it up into a couple days and I'm so glad you sent it to me and I sent it to some people already. Um, but this information is bringing in ET technology, human technology that's interfacing with ET technology, um, technology that exists now that can be used, it's been hidden by the government, also uh, technology that's available that you can actually access now, and then also understanding the quantum realm so you can understand how to manifest through your own programming. And it's very detailed, I'm almost done with the whole video, but it's so it was so rich that I had to go back a few times I did the same thing. I re rewind and I got to listen to that again, right? I did the same oh, thing. Totally. Was, yeah. I, I think it was one of the most informative videos I have actually watched in a very long time. There's and, a lot of information packed in there. I agree. Yeah. And, and you know, and, I, I've watched a lot of things and I've heard like Lear speak and I've, I've, I've seen a lot, but um, I guess my bar is very high because over the years, you know, you sift through a lot of data. Sure you do. You try to kind of get through the sa the sci-fi fantasy realm and get and a little the more. Yes, I was going to say, and the presenter is a young man. He's very young. He's He must be in his 20s, but um, he does his best. Uh, he's brilliant. So, yeah. He, yeah he, it looks like he's a contactee himself. It looks like he's had some surgeries and some experiences. I agree. And, yeah. Yes. So yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he's undoubtedly a, uh, well, maybe we can get him to join the uh, United oh, Star Seed. Yeah, if I could talk to him or get him involved in what I'm doing, that's fantastic. Actually, so, he'd be a great one to interview for your show. I would, oh, wow. That's an idea. 
Wouldn't that be awesome? Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll work on that, folks. Okay, we'll let's work on, work on that as a project. We'll work on getting the fellow that's in that particular video yeah. uh, into an interview scenario with yes. Alaya here. And yes. believe me, it will blow your freaking mind. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yes. So the whole point... You know what's really interesting about all of this? And if you take a really big step back, Dennis, and look at everything that you're seeing on the internet and news stories, you know, at the end of the day, there's people, what they're really looking for is they're looking for prolonging their life, anti-aging and instant healing. I mean, it really comes down to that because Absolutely. what are you going to do with all this money? So you have millions of dollars, but if you get totally decrepit to where you can't even enjoy it, so what difference does it make? So I mean, yeah, it looks like the world is being run by monetary system. This is all about money and power and infrastructures around those two things. But what do you do once you have money and power? You actually want to stay alive. You want to stay young. You want to stay vital, healthy. I mean, that's why, what do they say? The rich, you know, stay healthy and the poor die young because you don't have the access to this. Exactly. Type of, that's why the elite, the 1%, have access to the top of the line, you know, food, you know, healing. Well, and they can afford to go to the health spas and get the, the massages and the, and the, and the, the facials. Doctors, and, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. every field, metaphysicians, people who deal with quantum mechanics are dealing with the best of the best in every way. And what's the purpose is to stay alive longer. And if you think of the Palladians and the Arcturians and every different star system, they stay how long okay. are their life cycles? Thousands to millions. Thousands of years. So that yes. tells you something. So we're on this anti-aging, slow aging down, become more eternal. And how do you do that? It's all vibrational. So everything is raising the vibration so the cells get the information that you need to get to this. Let me say that again. The cells are needing information. And that information is going to come from you. Because we can charge particles, we can charge water, we can charge ourselves, we can charge cells in our bodies. So we have the technology to reverse aging right now as we speak, right where you're sitting. We can stop and slow down the aging process. And there's ways, everything from different types of guided meditations, visual meditations to different types of knowledge like this, where you're learning how to go in and to reconstruct your cellular system through outside technology, but also different types of water, different types of food. How are you eating? How are you sleeping? How are you taking care of yourself mentally, emotionally, physically? You know, Dennis and I, I think look good for our age, but we're not even accessing all of our technology that we could. No I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna right. be 50 in a couple years. I'm 47 and Dennis is 62. Seven. 67. And he looks 52. And I don't think I look 47. I mean. No, we're near. Right? No. And it's, no. it's all it's because. If I was going to guess your age, I would say about 35. Yeah. You know, Dennis and I, this is the I'm one. Serious. thing. Yeah. Can I tell you the thing that Dennis and I have in common? I'm going to say it right now. I haven't even told him this. Yes, we have this interest in this alien technology. Of course we do. But there's something else that we have in common is that we believe in vitality. We believe in life at such a powerful level. We're stop at nothing. We are so dedicated to being alive and healthy and strong and mentally viable and physically, like if Dennis were to tell you some of his stories, he doesn't even realize when he's telling me his stories of his adventures in the desert mining, the way he's talking, he's telling me something else. But what I'm picking up on is, that takes a lot of physical energy to do what you're doing, riding those ATVs out there, hiking up these huge long trails out there in the yeah. desert, working with big machines and equipment. And I'm like, does he chasing even... rattlesnakes so that I can get a picture? Does he even realize what he's telling me? He's telling me that he's out there. There's people who can't even get off their couch, and he's out there in 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 caves in the middle of the desert. Oh yeah, <laughs> his ATVs camping by himself, you guys. This is how vital Dennis is. And I have my stories too. You know, I've done mountain rappelling and I've done cave diving and I've done, you know, uh, kayaking and, and uh, boating inside of like islands in, in Mexico with bat caves. And I've been, I've done, 
I've done a lot of physical things. So the, the point of what we're saying is the reason why we bring up all these topics and we talk about these things, there's a reason. And that's because we believe in life. And we, been li we believe in living it in the best of our abilities, you know? And Being happy as hell all through the whole process, Ooh, you know? I mean, yeah, yeah it, and, and that affects dramatically happiness. Just the simple emotion of happiness dramatically affects your immune system. Well, they call that euphoria. And you know, yes. euphoria is worth its weight in gold because euphoria, oh, euphoria reverses the signs of damage. Yes, it so does. Everybody's trying to get to euphoria. So you yep. do it through meditations. You'll do it through sexual activities. You'll do it through dancing. You'll do it through drugs. You'll do it through uh, travel, Burning Man, festivals, whatever you can to get the fix of uh, this euphoria. Oh, yeah. And it's different, and it's different for all of us, you know. Everybody's I mean, different. Some Everybody of the some of the thing. some of the dirt roads that I will ride on to get up into the mountains to where some of our mining projects are, you know, there's like nobody around. I mean, nobody for miles and miles and miles. So I'm able to go. I'll wear headphones, okay, and wherever I can, if it's straight, I'll go full throttle <laughs> down a dirt road with headphones listening to Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin. Oh yeah. And just screaming and yelling and, and having a great time and happy as hell, you know? Well, but, I do you too. Know, and that's I just, tried, and that's just one of the ways that I, it's different for all of us is the point, but find what makes your heart sing and do more of it. Yeah. Do more of it. Like Dennis, when you get really close to the light, look at, look at the camera with your eyes, like look. Look at how look at how bright and alive he is. He's just present. He's here. And my eyes they're darker, but we're just focused on on life. We're not we're not hiding from life. We're not afraid to get out. And that is why we're on the show. And that is why we tackle these topics. And so why we tell you these stories is we're showing you that there's so much to life. There's so many layers. This multi-dimensional living that we're doing, here. and we both love to to uncover the yes. rare and unusual, yes. and bring these things to you so that you can do your own research. I know darn good and well that many of you, some of the things that we bring up, boy oh boy, those two are really really spaced out. I don't know if I can believe that or not. And those are the types of subjects that you should go and do your own research on. Yeah, because when you do, you'll go, oh wow, there's a lot more than you know. I understand now they couldn't have possibly covered this in one of the Video. Oh, no way but, we can cover yeah. all of this but now that i'm getting into it well there's something to this yes and that's what that's the discovery process and that's something else see it's a joyful process for both Araya and myself and for many of you i'm sure you know that's why you're watching right. to look into this you know hey i want to look under the rocks yes and find out what's hidden right and that's what we do we both you know i mean neither one of us until about a week ago had even ever heard of med beds or tachyon chambers. And we were both thrilled to discover oh. that because it's like, wow, this is right along the lines with, with the, the, uh, the life vessel and the blue room, which we discussed previously, which has physical locations around the world. And now the, all these tachyon chambers that are uh, included in the mix now, there's probably, if I had to take a wild guess, 60, 70, I don't know, probably 75 to 100 locations worldwide which doesn't sound like a lot, I know, but still for these rare technologies, yeah. it is a lot. If you com if you combine the tachyon chambers and the life vessels and the blue rooms. Well, don't you think it's interesting that Tokyo has so many? I mean, yes. they're I mean they're onto something, and they're very much very connected to the healing of ancient Asian technologies, but also they're really into futuristic technologies. Yes, they are. And they're they're you know into anti aging. They're into absolutely. Yeah, living healthy. Well, so, I think it has to, something to do, and I don't know what the answer here is, but it has something to do with the group consciousness of the Japanese people. I'm just going to say that. That they have managed to accumulate more tach, uh, tachyon chambers yes. than any other country on this planet, <laughs> planet, and they're a tiny little country. They're a tiny little country. Well, they're onto something. I mean, Cal California, I think, is twice as big as Japan, you know? Yeah. I'm not sure about that off the top of my head. Somebody's going to correct me on that probably. But, you know, the point is it's a tiny little country. Right. And to have more tachyon chambers than any place else on the planet, that means that a lot of Japanese people 
are taking advantage of this technology and it's widening their consciousness now when they step out of that tachyon chamber. And let's say that they just had, maybe they lost a child, a young child to some, whatever, car accident or terrible disease or something. And they're just completely emotionally distraught and understandably so. Any of you folks out there that have children that you love more than anything else in the world, you know how you would feel if you lost them. Well, apparently these tachyon chambers have the ability not to make you forget or not to have compassion or love for that child anymore, but it will shift you to a new level where you recognize and begin to embrace concepts like, okay. Well, so, that's because it raises your vibration. It raises the cellular vibration because your cells yes. are vibrating at such a high level because they're, they're fresh and new and they're, they're activated the right way, the way that they're, you're intended. Exactly. Um, yeah. Exactly. And, you know, and, and, and new, I think, um, the knowledge unfolds for us. And a, a good example with me personally is, you know, I was raised a Protestant, okay? In that particular religion, I was introduced to metaphysics by a dear friend of mine in 1974 in Orange County in Huntington Beach, a friend of mine. So I started exploring a lot of this other stuff. but it was meta metaphysics that made me leap from the one lifetime only concept right in conventional religion to reincarnation mm -hmm. and then as i began reading the sedona journal of emergence which as we have discussed is probably one of the finest uh, channeling magazines where somewhere around 50 to 60 of the top channelers on the planet including riz mirza right by his husband a channel for that magazine and i start reading various channelings from various beings from et's from buddha from jesus who sometimes go by sananda and they're all talking very matter-of-factly about the fact that no 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 when you step out of linearity into the quantum realm where there is no time and no space you are literally living multiple lifetimes on multiple linear timelines simultaneously wow, what a magnificent being you are mm -hmm. when you begin to embrace that as a possibility. So you realize, okay, so that child that I just lost, number one, they're not really lost. I may be having fun with them on several other timelines right now in di different relationships. It's true. I may be the child and they may be the parent. Right. Um, I may be a, a, a female on that timeline and she's a male now. So we reverse genders, we reverse... Um, and all this has to do with energy and raising our awareness and our consciousness to where we won't need ultimately these um, supportive technologies. But for many people, it's the only way by experiencing a major transformation in a tachyon chamber or a life vessel or a blue room, for example, which are the three that are available right now. And all of a sudden they realize, wow, invisible energies really help me. Mm -hmm. Well, what if I could conjure those same energies with my own mind and heart? What if I could generate those frequencies somehow? Well, that's, and that's, the whole where, point, that's right? where we're all moving towards. That's yes. where we're all moving to. That's what we all yep. want is to have that uh, autonomy. Yes. That we can be in our own instant feedback loop, <laughs> instantly creating and manifesting exactly what we want in our body and our atmosphere around us. And I mean, that is the fastest way for you to find your freedom. That's the fastest way for you to find your ultimate power, your ultimate success, your ultimate energy fields. And like you're a battery pack, you access your own battery, your own fuel. Like it's endless. The sky's the limit. There's no end to the possibilities of what you can achieve. And there's joy in the entire process. Yes. Which the joy is going to boost your immune system and perhaps make your telomeres a little bit longer. Yeah. And keep you... Either keep you at the age that you're at, if you're happy where you're at, or right. begin to reverse if that's what you want. Right. You know, that's another thing I hear a lot of uh, metaphysicians and people talking about quantum mechanics. Some people will touch on this topic of euphoria and joy and know that it's actually a technology. It's actually a way of being that can induce health. Some people will discuss this, but it's not the norm. 
to have people bring happiness and joy into a conversation regarding quantum healing, quantum mechanics, about exactly. how you heal at the quantum level. Like it's yeah. not really the next thing people say is euphoria and joy is the answer. Well, yeah, I mean, for example, and that's such a good point. I'm glad you brought that up because think about this, a practical application of what you just said. In how many hospitals today, when people are laying in the hospital, how often does either the doctor or one of the nurses walk in and say, well, let's see uh, how we can get you to euphoria today. <laughs> you know, you burn calories when you do psychic work and you, and you do healing work. You also are burning calories. Oh, yes, absolutely. It's all energy work. And that's why, for example, part of the protocol with the uh, life test is they will tell you definitively, <clears throat> among all the things that it does for you, one of the major things is that it accelerates detoxification and a lot of the detoxing can go through your skin so uh after each session uh, in the life vessel mm -hmm. which is four sessions over a three-day period one session on day one two sessions five to six hours apart on day two and the last of four sessions on day three and then you do that in cycles of every 19 to 25 days but after each session they say you know go to your, your from out of town and you're staying in a hotel locally, go to the hotel, uh, stop at the store first and buy some Epsom salts and take a bath, not a shower, take a bath and make the water as hot as you can stand it without scalding yourself and right. put in the Epsom salts and it will super accelerate then the detox that the life vessel is already doing for you. Right. And it'll all come out your pores. Right. Or go into a sauna. A yes, that would work too. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You have but to get all of this is shifting your vibration. Is the whole objective. It's all shifting your vibration. And everybody's interested in accelerating the process. So anybody that I talk to about the life vessel, I always tell them, you know, listen closely to all of the protocols that they're recommending. Right. How much water to drink a day, you know, taking these uh, hot baths, uh, uh, Epsom salt baths and everything. And you will see whatever symptoms you're trying to get rid of disappear all the faster. And everybody's interested in I the wonder what happens do I you know we have cells that die in our body right I think so I think yes cells die after even it, on the surface of your skin yeah because they can't replicate anymore it'll lose its vibrancy exactly so on the inside of your body what happens to all those cells that die where do they go well they How probably they go through our normal elimination process okay so that means you have yeah, to the, really focus on your detoxing to make sure you're constantly flushing out these dead cells. Absolutely. It's critically important. Critically important. One and of the, the biggest things. We're talking about gurus who go 40 days fasting, or they go into a hole in the ground and they come back out younger because yes. they, they uh, accelerate the, the healing process and the life cycle of their organs. Yes. So instead of that normal seven year cycle, they accelerate it. So they come yes. out remarkably younger they turn the clock back, and Indian gurus have been known to do that. Have you ever read, uh, Araya, or anybody that's listening, uh, the books, and I happen to get my hands on a, a copy of the audio book, of Masters of the Far East? No, that sounds Written by uh, a fellow by the name of Spalding, back around the turn of the century. And he and a group of people went up into the Himalayas, and met some of the advanced spiritual masters up there. And okay, well, we're gonna, um, you know, take this trek over to the next mountaintop or ledge or whatever, we'll meet you there. And the spiritual master would say, okay, well, I'll meet you there. I'm not gonna walk with you. Oh. And they, just, and they would just project it? themselves there, yeah. And, and so they'd already be there when the, when the walking troop got there. Well, how did you get here before us? Exactly. We didn't even see you. Okay, so we didn't even see you on the trail. Well, no, because I projected here. And right. I've been here for three days. So that's instant manifestation, and yes. that you you vibrate yourself so high, and your intentionality is so strong, you actually will yourself to this next destination. You actually become physically dematerialized from one location yeah. and yeah. dematerialized in another. Too. They talk about this. Yes. Yeah. That's I fascinating. know this is some crazy stuff. You guys, if you research. Indian gurus and the different magical, like mystical things that they can do, like considered miracles. And it's also in the Bible, you know, people have created miracles. Sure. You, you'll start to see that, you know, you'll start to see all these you know, different ways. One of the best uh, explanations or definitions, whatever you want to call it, regarding healing and miracles, uh, I heard from Ramtha, 
channeled by Jay Z Knight. And Ramtha said, "Well, so what is a a, a a miracle healing? After all, it's a healing that happens instantly. That's why it's defined as a miracle." Right, because you and don't. So have through the traditional resistance of your mind, resistance of the body. Exactly. You're completely and, open. And in some cases, in fact, there you can find stories about this. Some medical doctors, if they have a client or a patient, we can say, that has a an immediate spontaneous remission, they'll just shrug their shoulders and say, well, medical I guess about all we could say is, you know, what's that word? Oh, yeah, miracle. Medical miracle. <laughs> yep. So everybody who's watching, if you got value from our video, please like and subscribe and comment. It's very important for our channel to grow. And I am the founder of United Star Seeds Connections Group on Facebook. Dennis is a, a friend of mine for over 10 years, but he's also a member of the group. And what we aim to do is we aim to bring everyone to a higher vibration, into their joy, into their happiness, into their self-healing, into their self-love. We're always wanting to expand and explore the mind and the heart and the chakras and, and create a more harmonious experience so you can have your own harmonious convergence happening all the time. <laughs> yes. Morning, noon, and night. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we have much more where this came from. We'll keep giving it to you every week. So Dennis, if you'd like to say any last words. Sure. I just want to um, remind you all to pursue everything that makes your heart sing and it will open up new avenues of, of uh, joy and inquisitiveness in you and um, you know I wish you all uh, the very best and remember that you know we are all connected and when you feel a resonance with someone whether it's with Araya or myself or anybody else in your life you know going back to that quantum realm where there we're living multiple lives on multiple lives linear timelines. Just think about this. The next time you have significant resonance with someone, am I closely entangled with this individual on several other timelines? And that's why we had an instant affinity for each other on this timeline. When you start to think about that, it'll begin to make sense for you. And you'll realize that it's all about vibration and love and joy. So pursue your happiness. And that's what I want to share with everybody. That's beautiful. Thank you, Dennis, so much. And namaste, everyone. And namaste. Have a great rest of the evening or the day. Bye-bye. Good night.